Hey guys, Pat Dibley here. I hope you're staying well amongst everything that's been happening right now. Today I'm teaming up with Griffith College to share some simple ideas around staying motivated in the times that we're currently living. So again, we're dealing with a lot of uncertainty right now, unprecedented times, which are challenging for us all, both on a personal level and a professional level. The world as we know it has changed and so feelings of overwhelm or stress are common and normal. Uh, and so I hope these couple of tools or a couple of ideas can support you in finding motivation or as I would call it more, inspiration. Uh, the difference between motivation and inspiration is motivation is often temporary. It's something that is there in the short term, but it comes and it goes. Inspiration is when I feel kind of inspired from within and I'm excited by the things that I'm getting to do. They challenge me at times, but I feel like I'm on the right path. So the first idea around getting inspired or getting motivated, whichever word you prefer for now, is try and find some form of accountability. If there's something that you're currently working on, uh, if there's a course that you're going through, if there's a fitness plan that you've signed up to, if there's something that you've kind of committed to as your routine has changed, consider can you find some form of accountability? Is there a friend or someone that you can check in with on a consistent basis to ensure that you're staying on track? So I'd encourage you to link up with a friend and support one another or even a little group and support one another and ask the question, what is the goal? What do I want to achieve? And then ask, where might you struggle? Ask your, your friend or your partner, where might you struggle? And how can I support you? And they'll ask the same of you. And this gives you a level of accountability. So if I'm going through a fitness plan, I might say my goal is to exercise consistently for the next 30 days. Uh, the area I might struggle is in um, finding the time. And the way you could support me is to send me a text every couple of days just ensuring I'm staying on track. So first idea around motivation or inspiration is it's difficult to stay consistent sometimes on our own, but having accountability can make a big difference. Second idea around motivation in these times that we're living in is to really focus on the controllables and try to let go of the uncontrollables. Uh, so certain things in life are within our control, things like our attitude, things like our self-care practices, things like the way that we communicate with other people. Um, these are in our control. Control. And then a lot of things are outside of our control. Externally, a lot of what's happening in the world right now is outside of our control. And if I put all of my attention on that, and I put my energy on all those things that are beyond me, that's when things can become hugely overwhelming. So rather than that, I want to come back to myself and I want to ask, how can I best protect my energy and how can I best look after stress levels? Uh, what can I do for myself? What are the things I'm in control of and can I let go of the rest? This gives me a feeling of empowerment. I'll feel lost and I'll feel completely out of control if I'm focused on things that I can't change. That's when we feel trapped. So what is in your control? How can you give yourself your best chance of protecting your energy, protecting your stress levels and proactively moving forward and making the changes that are inevitably going to come with everything that's been happening? Third idea around motivation or inspiration is to continue to track your wins every day. So one of the things that happens to us is that we're always focused on where we are versus where we want to be. We see this gap between where I am in terms of my health or my fitness or my relationship and then I've got a goal as to where I want to be. Be. but as we move closer to our goals more often than not the goal comes out further like the horizon we're always chasing and sometimes we can feel like we're not making the progress we could like we would like uh, one of the ways we can kind of overcome this is to measure back as well as forward what I mean by that is if I sign up to a 30-day training plan and I get to day three and I'm thinking, oh, I've got 27 days left, I'm measuring forward. I'm looking at the gap between where I am and where I want to be. I'll find more motivation and inspiration by also reflecting on where I've come from. So recognize the progress that you're making on a consistent basis. I'm here and I want to go forward, but also if I recognize where I've come from, I'll see that I'm on the track, I'm on the journey, and things are going well. So the way that I do that in a practical sense is to sit down with a journal every evening and just ask the question, what were my three wins for today? Even on the worst day, encourage yourself and train yourself to look for the things that worked well. Uh, your win might be something as simple as, even though I was feeling a little bit isolated and a little bit uh, withdrawn in myself, I reached out to a friend on a call and I had a quick call with them and I checked in with them and that made me feel a little bit better. My second win is that I did a 15 minute workout. My third win is that I took five minutes for myself just to do some deep breathing or do a meditation. So when you start tracking your wins, they add up very consistently over time and that's where confidence comes from and that inspires you, again, that inspiration from within rather than relying on external motivation. So a couple of ideas there, get some accountability, focus on your wins and really get in control of the controllables, try to let go of the rest. I hope this is helpful. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll speak to you soon.